Hey, welcome back to our channel, everybody. Guess what today is? It's my birthday! The real one! My real birthday! Not my unbirthday! <laughs> not my happy unbirthday. The real birthday. Finally, I get to celebrate my birthday at my favorite place in the whole wide world, Castaway Key. So stick around and watch what her day will bring. Lots of special things planned. Castaway Key being the main uh, one. Love it. Have a love. Thank you for joining us. we get started on today's adventure let's just all pause and sing happy birthday okay <laughs> I hear you all all across the world I'm hearing you right now she's <laughs> feeling the joy she's feeling the love <laughs> okay pro tip here in the Bahamas on Castaway Key is a post office in your stateroom there are postcards write yourself a postcard or to your friends or neighbors, co-workers, and it will have a special NASA castaway key postmark on it, and it'll be just a fun souvenir. You pick up your stamp with, at the post office, it's a special Bahamian stamp, and it goes to someone you love as a very special souvenir. On the back of every Disney ship, there's a fun character hanging around, painting, or doing something, and this ship has Rapunzel. Look at her hair wrapped all around the different posts. She's got her paintbrush out. She's painting Disney Wish. <laughs> Can't you see why this is just one of our favorite places? Look at that warm blue water. Just incredible. Yeah, we're about an hour south of there, so okay. weather system. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. she is. Okay, Diane is racing us. There she is. She's got her scooter. Oh, we're winning. We're winning! Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There she is! Go! Go! <laughs> Scooter coming! <laughs> oh, there's the bumps! Is that chair comfortable? <laughs> She's totally beating us. Oh, she got caught between some people getting photos. We might beat her after all. Beautiful here. Oh, she got through. Look at her go. 13. This is a place called Mount Rustmore, and it's just an icon of Castaway Key. Great photo spot, of course. Isn't this the fantasy? Just breezes blowing the palm trees, beautiful beach, wonderful umbrellas. This is just the life. This is Diane's favorite place. It's one of mine too. Okay, we had a totally cool thing happen today. We're a small but growing channel, but for the first time, someone recognized us no, from, our, from no, our videos. Not us. Diane. <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> on at birthday. Castaway Key. Yeah. So if you like, do ever I see us anywhere. Him. No, I didn't. If you ever do see us somewhere and <laughs> you recommend let it, us please let us know. It's so fun. Because you know what? We just don't know who's watching. We see countries and cities and that kind of thing, but we don't yeah. know. We don't yeah. know who they are and we want yeah. to know you and yeah. Comment. Tell us you saw us or just come up and greet us. Absolutely. We love meeting you. Yep. Diane gets herself a floaty and just goes out to the furthest point she's allowed and just enjoys it. I get a little bored. I'm a task-oriented person, so just floating in the water for a long time is not quite
quite the task I want to do. There's the helicopter again. More commercial doing, filming. The problem is, is that it's very noisy and it's going right over us a lot. And so it's kind of disturbing the castaway key vibe. But I imagine it's not going to be all day. So whatever. <laughs> Let's see if we can zoom in a little further on her. Yep, there she is. Great kids, water slide, well, of all ages actually. Why am I say kids? I don't know, but totally fun family beach. I am on a shuttle to Serenity Bay, the adult-only beach, and they go down this big uh, airstrip. Well, maybe it's been used as an airstrip, but it was designed as part of the story of the island. Diana is taking her scooter, and I think she's she's keeping up with us. There she is. <laughs> That's funny. She loves that thing. Okay, well, I'm so sorry. The wind distortion was so bad here that I had to, you know, silence out the uh, soundtrack here. So let me just tell you what I was going to say. This is the airstrip on the island. It's not, I mean, maybe it is used as an airstrip, but this is part of the story that uh, Disney has created in the island. I'm sure they use it to bring stuff in, but it's not a historical island uh, airstrip. But this is where the 5K run happens uh, as well. And back in 2016, uh, I did the first Castaway Key Challenge where I did the Dopey Challenge at Disney World running the 5, 10, half marathon, and full marathon. And then got on the ship and came to the island and did the 5K here. Uh, Diane did the 5K as well, and the 5K at the at the Disney World Marathon Weekend, and so we both got the special medal. It was pretty cool. Uh, now the uh, you can get off on the ship and run the 5K as well, or use this as a bike path. Um, there's trails that go all around the island, and it's it's a really cool place. Uh, just very fascinating. Uh, storyline that they've created and other ways to spend some of your time there if you're not a beachcomber. So there you go. Beautiful area. One of the things on the islands is all these different barbecue stations for lunch. Fresh grilled meats, burgers, ribs, all this corn, potato salad, fruit. It's nothing special awesome, but it's just really good. Diane corrected me. The ribs are very special to her, but it's just good food. Okay, here's some standard island barbecue fare. Some burger ribs, cookies, fruit, various salads. I missed the hot dogs. I didn't see hot dogs. And the steak. I saw chicken. I didn't see any steak. Chicken? There was steak back there. I asked about it. He said it was ribs. I looked at that. I said, isn't that brisket? And he said, no, that's ribs. Okay, maybe I was so, but it all looks good. All right, this is the moment. These ribs, when we first came to Castaway Keys, they're the reason I fell in love with this place. They are so good and so delicious. I don't know why they taste so much better when you're sunburned, but they do. In the darkness of the pandemic, I would fantasize about these ribs. No lie. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. People talk about dry rub, barbecue sauce. I don't care. These ribs are best. Hands down. This is worth booking the cruise. Okay, I want to do some painting here at Castaway Key, but it's so hot. 
and I don't want to stand out in the beach to get the view that I want, so I found this table with a patio uh, uh, umbrella over it. It's not the best scene, I'll show you in a minute, but I'm going to make it work because I stubbornly want to paint, um, but it's not exactly what I want. So well, let me show you. All right, I wanted to do something with the palm tree over the water. So I'm gonna, I can't see all the top of that palm tree, but I will make it all work. And I love the idea of the hammock and those poles, but I'm not gonna put this deck and railing in front. I will imagine that it's not there and get that great water in the background. It's beautiful. You show it to me. Okay, here it is. I think I'm done. Getting the shadow there on the bottom of the hammock. I wasn't sure I wanted to do that, but you have to give it grounding, right? So lots of green there on the side, palm tree. I think it, other than the people in the railing, it fits. Love it. We are doing Palos again for dinner to celebrate Diane's birthday. Because one of the reasons is because Paolo has a chocolate souffle that I want for my birthday cake. The chocolate souffle will change your life. I am so not joking. It is amazing and I'm so excited for it. They gave us a great table right here looking out at the very back of the ship, looking out at the open water. There's Castaway Key. Oh, I don't know that you can even see that on film. There we go. A little bit of edge of land way out there. We're leaving it. All right, the Palo Steakhouse here at uh, The Wish is different. It's an actual steakhouse as well as the Italian restaurant. So if you've done the other ships, then here are some of the items that you would be used to on the menu. This top box is a prefix menu. You get one of each item for the $45. Uh, and then they have an a la carte menu of all the different courses. And because it's also a steakhouse, they've got all this meat section with additional sides. Uh, and they've got some high-end Wagyu beef and prime cuts and lamb and veal. And so it's very different. A lot of the... Um, other items I think are similar, the pastas and pizzas, but it is a different menu than regular Palos if you've gone on the other ships, so just be prepared for that. <laughs> she told us that there are a group of people that now come to Palo that have never come because they hear the word steakhouse, and then of course people who are very loyal to Palo come and get the Italian, so it's kind of a, a mixed crowd, she said. Um, we're actually more loyal to Paolo and so we're going to get this because there is Diane's favorite dessert right there the chocolate souffle and it's quite a show they break it open and drop the vanilla bean sauce into it it will change your life <laughs> it will change your life she says so it's a wonderful menu and this idea though of a full restaurant a la carte pricing is very different for Disney, and I wonder how it's being received. Um, we're used to just a uh, prefix cost, so I'm not sure I'm receiving it well, although I don't mind. I know that the quality is phenomenal, but that's not what we've come to know on all the previous ships. So I'm sure some will have a little bit of sticker shock um, because Disney is so good at including high level in everything so to have 
all of a sudden, you know, 45 and $60 just meat additions is a bit different for most of us. But it's an option. You don't have to do it. The food at the main restaurants is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, so this is just a little extra. We didn't film most of our dinner because it's Diane's birthday. We just wanted to enjoy dinner. But she's made such a deal about this souffle. We just have to show you what is done. She pierces the top. Look at that. Can you hear the angels singing? <laughs> no, not till they're flooded with uh, the various sauces. A chocolate sauce and vanilla get married together look at that oh she's put the oh wow you're an expert in this <laughs> oh beautiful thank you <laughs> and i got tiramisu i don't know why i didn't get that but that's a unique uh presentation look at that what a beautiful little greeting they brought us. Yes. Somebody knows how to print beautifully with their chocolate sauce. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Yes, it is. And happy birthday, dear. Best day ever. Diane loves going around in circles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's Belle. I'm a sucker for Belle. She's one of my favorite. I love that movie. One of my favorite animated movies that Disney made in the early years. All right, this is so cool. As you know, as we've been saying, Diane's birthday. Well, they really did a full out beautiful spread. Although this is more like anniversary. <laughs> but we're this is. Anniversary too. We are too. We're celebrating that too. But look at this. Happy birthday, Miss Diane from Raymond and Jasper. They're our room service team. Look at the beautiful roses and all the chocolate. Wow. Do you feel birthday and special? Well, I take them home. Raymond and Jasper yeah. or the towels? No, Raymond and Jasper <laughs> come in and clean up after me four times a oh, day. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if we had people to do all this cleaning at home for us all the time and turning our special, bed every night? Taking care <sighs> of us. Make yeah, that's the problem with cruises. You get used to the lap of luxury and then you have to go home and wash feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you on the day one video that sometimes I forgot to do the closing of our day's experience. And so here's yet another one where I forgot and who could fault me. We were celebrating Diane's birthday and what a beautiful day it was uh, to spend the day at Castaway Key her racing the shuttle, she just loved that. That was just a highlight of her day. And in fact, later different people came up to her and said, I saw that, that was so fun. You know, so she, she enjoyed that experience. Uh, I had the opportunity to do a really nice painting. It was a fun time for me. And then of course, to end the day with a beautiful dinner at Palos. What, what a wonderful, uh, birthday celebration for her. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, would you let us know by doing like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave some comments. Again, we were recognized that day. It was so fun. And if you were on this cruise with us, we'd love to hear from you. Um, just go ahead and, and leave that uh, information in the comments and and that would be that would be great. Thank you. Okay, everybody, be good to others. Bye-bye.